Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am so happy you stopped by. Well, we are almost into fall, and that means everywhere you look, it's pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. And I love pumpkin. So today I'm going to show you not one, not two, but three different pumpkin recipes. And the best part is you can make all three with just this one small can of pumpkin. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly what they are. All right, so we are going to take two cups of old fashioned oats. And then we're going to be putting in some baking powder, some pumpkin pie spice, and some salt, along with some chopped pecans. And we're just going to give this a stir just so everything's kind of mixed. And I will have exact amounts in the description. Now just set that aside and take a medium sized bowl and put a large egg in there. Then you're going to add some milk, one and a half cups one cup of pumpkin puree and we're just going to give that a quick little mix and a quarter cup of light brown sugar or you could use maple syrup now add the dry ingredients to the bowl with the wet ingredients and just give that a quick stir. Now it is gonna look pretty soupy and that's exactly how it should look. Now you're gonna grease a square baking pan and we're gonna set our oven to 350 and you're gonna cook this for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's firm to the touch and a knife comes out clean. Now make sure to serve this warm and you can top it with maple syrup or else this amazing sauce, which I'm gonna show you how to make next. The next recipe is gonna be our pumpkin caramel sauce. For this, you're gonna need some pumpkin puree, some vanilla, some salt, some pumpkin pie spice, some heavy whipping cream, sugar, and butter. And I'll have the exact amounts in the description box. Now to a medium saucepan, you're just gonna put the sugar in there dry. And as you can see, it's after about two to three minutes, it's gonna start making some clumps. And then pretty soon it'll be bigger clumps. And then after another minute or so, it is going to start to liquefy like this. But it's still gonna have clumps in it. Now. The most important thing about this step is you must keep stirring. You can't walk away. And in five to seven minutes, it is going to completely liquefy and all the lumps are gonna be gone and it'll be a nice dark amber color. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in our four tablespoons of cubed butter. And then we're just gonna stir that around till it's melted. That's just gonna take about 30 seconds. Now, you're gonna add the heavy cream in one half at a time. And now it looks like it's starting to clump up, but just keep stirring, keep stirring over, me, oh, over low heat. And it's gonna to start to bubble up and get smooth. Then ask, add in your uh, vanilla and your pumpkin pie spice and your salt. Now, if you want it to be more of like a salted caramel, you can add a little more salt and your pumpkin puree lastly. And then just let it cool in a glass container. It is really gonna start to thicken up and then um, you can put it in the refrigerator. And if it's too thick, you can warm it up in the microwave for a few minutes. And for our final recipe, we're going to be making these amazing, easy pumpkin bagels. We're going to need some all-purpose flour, some whole milk yogurt or Greek yogurt, the rest of the pumpkin puree, which was a half of a cup. It was also a half a cup of the yogurt and one cup of flour. And then you're going to need some extra couple tablespoons of flour when you roll the dough so it's not sticky any longer. 
and then you're just going to need some baking powder and salt. Now if you want these to be more of a sweet bagel, you can add some pumpkin pie spice and two tablespoons of sugar. But I just wanted to make them more on the savory side. So just add your dry ingredients together and just give it a little whisk. In another bowl, add your yogurt and your pumpkin puree and just give that a little mix, just so the two are combined. Then pour in your dry ingredients. Now mix it with a wooden spoon until it begins to form a dough and then place it on your floured surface and like I said, you're gonna need one to two tablespoons of dough because it's a sticky dough. And we wanna just incorporate that flour until the dough is no longer sticky. See, and you'll see here where I'm talking about. You see how it's still sticking to the counter? So just keep adding sprinkles of flour until it's no longer sticky. It just takes a minute or two. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you're gonna divide it into four sections. And then you're gonna um, put those in like a disc shape and then put your finger in the middle and make them into a bagel shape. Now take a beaten egg and then we're just gonna brush each one and this is gonna make it have a nice little bit of a shiny top. Now you don't have to do this, but I think it looks better. And then I did half of them with pumpkin seeds, roasted pumpkin seeds. It gives a nice little crunch, plus I think it looks really pretty. Bake these at 375 for 15 minutes or until um, they're just barely starting to brown. You don't really want them to brown, but um, just so you can tell the bottom will get brown. And these were so good, you guys. Isn't the color so pretty? I had them with cream cheese and they were amazing. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. They were all a 10 out of 10 for both Chris and I. And if you could do me one favor, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, could you just click that little red button? I am so close to getting to 10,000 subscribers and I would really, really appreciate your support. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and we will see you on the next video. Bye everybody.